Coming to you live tonight from the Banbury Plantire Community Stadium here in Banbury for Banbury United versus Hereford FC. In goal number one, uh, number one, James Dadge. Three, Jack Davis. Four, Christy Ward. Five, Luca Woodhouse. Six, Ty Fleming. Seven, DJ Campton Sturridge. Nine, Ken Charles. Ten, Craig Hewitt. Twelve, Ethan Light. Fifteen, Ben Beresford. And thirty-two, Manny Madja. For the Bulls tonight, line up as follows. A few changes. Curtis Pond in goal, number one. Two, Aaron Skinner. Three, Lewis Hudson. Four, Oreo Tashira. Eight, Alex Babos. Nine, Jason Cowley. Ten, Andy Williams. Sixteen, Jid Okeke. Twenty-seven, the skipper, Nathan Cameron. Twenty-eight, Carl Hawkins. And thirty-three, the returning Dom McHale. All right, they yes. can get out of the bottom four tonight if they get a point from that game. Well, Maidstone have got promotion playoff uh, hopes of their own as the cross comes in it's well defended by Jack Davis the last touch Martin Odegaard there with the goal as uh, here's a key key gets a shot in and it takes a deflection and Dad had to be lively because he was already starting to go to his left there was an awful lot of power on the shot it down and then just rolls the ball forward and Hewitt's got well, he's shown electric pace there, and Hewitt comes racing forward. There's plenty of scarlet gold shirts in the area. Hewitt twisting and turning. May just have overdone things a little bit. Stands the ball up. It's over Ken Charles' head. Breaks out to... Oh, dear. Well, it was a good effort Definitely from Ward, was. but he was always leaning back. And straight as he hit it, you could see that it was going one way and one way only, and it was rising, and it rose. Sturridge was with... Stockport County loan in there, so Akiki trots away as the ball goes into the air. It flicks off a Bambury head, it's still not clear. Comes out to Babos, drills it, blocks this evening. Ball played forward, looking for the run of uh, Cowley. Cowley does well to get away from his man, comes into the area, onto his left foot, blocked this time by Ethan Light. That was a decent strike from Cowley. Which is, uh, Pretty well lit this evening and pretty well populated as well, Lynn Baldwin. As that throw comes in, yes. and it's still not dealt with, and uh, eventually Sturridge will drop the shoulder and try and chase this ball upfield and come away with it, and he's doing just that. He's got Ewick to his right. Sturridge, oh, shot, yeah. and maybe there he just uh, saw some dazzling lights of his own. His name goes... Eventually, uh, short corner and it goes towards the six yard box it's uh, headed away this time to Beresford ball goes out to the far side Hereford have the ball with Akiki and Akiki will drop the shoulder and then go on his right foot gets the ball into the air header comes in and it's hacked away from by the post by Ethan Light not quite on the line but certainly a few yards from the line if you speak to any defender the thing they don't like defending against is pace yeah and those two have got it in abundance it's going to be a corner. And it comes from Ward. It's right on the keeper. It does well, Pond, just to get a left mitt on it. And then a shot comes in. It's oh! a brilliant save. From, and it's in. It's a brilliant goal. And it's Luca Woodhouse with the goal. Pond got something on it. I thought he got enough on it to get it onto the post, which uh, he did. And it's gone in. But uh, I'm not, the referee's... The referee's coming across now to the linesman on his near side because he spotted something. Certainly, you can't take anything away from Woodhouse for the strike. It was about... Oh, and it's been disallowed. It's been disallowed for an offside. Goes in with a challenge on Cameron, but Cameron just stands his ground and eventually the ball breaks to Babos. Now out to Akiki on this uh, left-hand side. Akiki not afraid to pull a left-footed cross in and the header came in from Cowley and eventually it scrambled behind for a corner to Hereford. Around the corner, it's uh, Skinner, who's ahead of him, and then will lay it back to Akiki. And uh, as I said, Akiki needs no second invitation to get those legs pumping. Gets the ball back off the defender. Sends the ball in. It needs to be defended by Woodhouse. Cowley can't get it under his spell on the edge of the area. Gets the shot away, and it's a yard wide in the post. And in fact, I think dadger has got something on it. And if so, it's a very good save. And he's been congratulated yes. by several of the defenders there. It's further forward uh, position than what you'd have seen goalkeepers take in the old days and then the ball comes into the area and Cowley gets under it and sends it over the bar he was always stretching was uh, Jason Cowley probably just lacking in a few inches there the centre forward and uh, 
had to jump and stretch every sinew to try and get something on get it. Pecky will, with that language style of his, race forward. The number 16, the man on loan from Scottport County, lays it across to Babos. Babos then goes further square to Cowley, and Cowley slides this ball in, and Hereford take the lead at the back post. Just looking across. And it was a well worked move in stoppage time, and Hereford have the lead. They take the lead here, and again, Banbury, if they're going to do anything, they have to do it from behind. It probably has been the best we've seen Banbury play for a number of weeks, but they find themselves in stoppage time, a goal down, having had a goal themselves disallowed. Hereford have the lead. Goal here. And been taking the lead in stoppage time through Andy Williams at the end of the first half. Babos whips this corner and again it doesn't go very far. It's headed away. And the referee has spotted a handball. The ball flicked up and it hits Sturridge's hand. And it's going to be a penalty. Now has walked away has Mr Corbett. And Williams hands on hit. Certainly looks the most coolest man in the place, but let's see. From the penalty spot. Short run up. Straight into the top corner. Sent Dad to the wrong way. 2 0. Andy Williams with his second goal of the game, and that was a really good penalty. It was. Right into the top corner. Dad went the wrong way. I don't think you saved them even if you go the right way. That was right into the top corner, and Andy Williams from the penalty spot has given Hereford a 2-0 lead and uh, dare I say Bambury now with it all to do yeah that was a very much of a, a blow for Bambury um, that penalty um, concession there yeah it's um, again the ball skipped up it hit Woodhouse though little flick to Hewitt Hewitt Rolls his foot over the ball a couple of three times in field of Berrison who drops the shot on the edge of the area. Still going, Berrison gets the shot away and draws the save out of Curtis Bond. Wasn't the cleanest of strikes, but it certainly had Craig Hewitt. Craig Hewitt in off the left hand side, dinks the ball into the middle. Cameron clears it away, but only as far as Ward. Referee says play on Ward with an effort, and Ward with a brilliant effort and a brilliant save from Bond. Yeah, that was, that was an excellent Fleming and Fleming beats Cowley in the air again as the ball comes back inside the Banbury half of the field. Breaks now to uh, Woodhouse. Hewitt round the corner. Beresford, nice little touch. <laughs> then knocks the ball out to the far side. Referee is spotted in the infringement. And he's going to call the play back. Matcher doesn't look very happy about that. <laughs> Looks like... Uh, I think, it's Aaron, I think it's Aaron Skinner who's going in the book. Waits to Hewitt. Hewitt sends the cross in. It is well taken down there. And, it, and Beresford is almost in. And the referee's given a penalty for handball. It was a number seven DJ Campton storage. He played the ball into the direction of Beresford. And Hereford have conceded a penalty. Like uh, Williams did at the other end. But he knows this is a crucial one. Steps up, now does that little chasse, and then delays, and sends the keeper the wrong way, and Ken Charles has pulled the goal back. When it comes off, Lynn, it it, you look the coolest man in the place. When it doesn't come off and the goalkeeper reads it, not so. But I might well game. have been on loan at AFC Telford United as well last season. But he's got the goal for Mayston. Away at Wordsworth drive against Taunton Town in the Vanarama National League, uh, National League South. As uh, Bambi have got a free kick about 10 yards inside the uh, Hereford half of the field. Can't quite see who's, who's down there, but uh, it's a free kick to Bambi. Just down in front of uh, the home dugout. He's just got to be a, a mindful of that. He's pulling yeah. himself around a bit, which is good to see from your centre forward. But when you're sitting on a booking, you've just got to be a little bit careful. Yeah. Here's uh, 
a kick it used impressed again this evening as the ball comes in Babos on the twist with the half volley sends the ball wide of the post didn't quite can wrestle possession back and they have got possession now through Wa uh, Ward laid forward now to Madger who drops the shoulder Madger still going goes down referee says free kick and this is a decent position and I would suggest Limbaugh from this sort of position you're looking at a left footer and I've noticed the number five Woodhouse has gone across to that far side and I think he'll fancy this yeah and in fact I think there's a red card you know that Christy Ward Ward will strike forward then stands the ball out to this near side to Woodhouse Woodhouse whips the ball in across the front post goes Beresford I think it was breaks the Madgham oh it's an awful shot that one's coming down with snow on it it's coming off that left hand side then pings a pass out to the far side looking for Sturridge Sturridge brings the ball down on his chest dips the shoulder still going Sturridge gets a ball in oh it's broke out to Madger on the edge of the area what can he do Madger with a shot pulls it wide went for pa ball goes forward it's inside the Banbury half for the field Sturridge again that low centre of gravity just looking to turn away from his and goes to ground and uh, it's going to be a free kick and it's going to be another yellow card and looking across there and it's Skinner down to nine men now oh dear. down to nine men two yellow cards for Skinner and, well, and he's top goal scorer in the Scottish Premiership for Aberdeen ball not forward it's uh, over the top it comes to Hewitt Hewitt then to Beresford Beresford looking to work and open plays it out to Ward. It's palmed oh. over by Pond. It's in fact more than palmed over. It's palmed wide by Pond. Christy Ward with an absolutely thundercracker. Ward <laughs> sends the ball out to the far side. It, Woodhouse is going to have to chase it. He does well actually to get there. Then it's back to Hewitt who slips slightly. Lays. Well, he comes in to the area. Gets away from his man. Crosses in. Oh, and it's wide of the post. That was the big opportunity run down the clock as Banbury now through Ethan Light will come towards the halfway line Light goes long up towards Ward Ward back in the way breaks to Hewitt 20 yards out comes away from him Woodhouse tries to bring it under his spell can't do so and there is the final whistle Texera jumps in the air this is a big win for Hereford the Banbury players some of them collapse to their knees they know this was a big chance and they've played pretty well at times tonight but they've gone down to another defeat, beaten 2-1 at home by Hereford. Hereford taking the lead in a, the first minute of stoppage time. At the